The Word Begotten in the Bible Christians say that God the Almighty has a Son, and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, was conceived by Mary, peace be upon her, through the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ was born in the form of a human child. Here is the verse that Christians often quote as proof that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 3 verse 16. The word begotten is found in the King James Version, but this same word begotten is not found anywhere in the Revised Standard Version, New Revised Standard Version, nor in the World English Bible. Here is another word deleted from the Bible by Christian scholars and Bible revisers as they discovered that this is another fabrication presented in the Bible. What book of God has words added to the text and subtracted from it? The Holy Quran certainly does not, as it contains the actual verbatim words of God. The fact that words have been added, which Christian scholars admit too, should be very concerning to Christians. Christians use the word begotten to prove Jesus Christ's divinity. However, the same word is used in the case of prophet David, peace be upon him, in the Old Testament. I will declare the decree, The Lord has said unto me, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Psalm 2 verse 7 One verse in the Bible states that Jesus Christ is God's only begotten son, but in another verse in the Bible, Prophet David, peace be upon him, is also the begotten Son of God. It is a contradiction of the Bible, the so-called Word of God. Human hands have modified the Gospel as it is impossible for God the Almighty, the perfect being, to contradict himself. The concept of Jesus Christ as the begotten Son of God can be proven false by the Bible itself. If a Christian says that God, the Almighty, has begotten Jesus Christ, is he saying that God was only a duality and not a part of a trinity before Jesus Christ was born? Was God not complete then? Moreover, if God begot Jesus Christ, that would imply a point where Jesus Christ was not in existence, so he could not be God or a part of God, as God has no beginning nor an end. A god does not come into existence at a certain point, as a god is not created. He is uncreated. Only created beings come into existence at a point in time. Moreover, Jesus Christ could not be co-eternal with God, since God was in existence when Jesus was not. Furthermore, if Jesus Christ were the begotten Son, that would make God the begetter. If God is the begetter, how could Jesus then be the begotten? How could the begetter be begotten if both are one and part of the Trinity? The Holy Quran condemns these atrocious words of blasphemy, as begetting is an animal act that signifies the lower animal functions of sex. We are not to attribute such a quality to God, the All High. Metaphorically speaking, we are all the children of God, and Jesus Christ can be viewed as being closer to God than the rest of us, since he is a more faithful and righteous man than the rest of us, but it does not mean he is literally the Son of God. Humanity did not have to wait long to discover that these words were a fabrication inserted later, as God the Almighty told us in his final book, the Holy Quran, about this blasphemy, doing so as he expresses his wrath in the strongest terms for those that attribute a son to him, calling it highly inappropriate and atrocious for one to commit this sin. And they say, Christians, the most merciful has taken for himself a son. You have done an atrocious thing. The heavens almost rupture therefrom, and the earth splits open, and the mountains collapse in devastation, that they attribute to the most merciful a son and it is not appropriate for the most merciful that he should take a son. Quran, chapter 19, verses 88 through 92. 
The most severe sin in Islam is known as shirk, which translates to the concept of ascribing a partner to Allah. The term also encompasses attributing divine qualities to any other besides Allah. Shirk is the only sin God does not forgive if a person dies before repenting. The Christian belief that Jesus is the Son of God, or God himself, is an example of shirk. The belief in the concept of the Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is a grave sin in Islam.